So when you're pricing a home using dollar per square foot, you got to remember that dollar per square foot pricing only works on homes of similar size. If you got a thousand square foot home in Old Town and it's a half million dollar home and it's $500 a foot, you can't take the house next door that's 2,000 square feet and say, okay, that $500 a foot also applies to a home that's double the size, so that 2,000 square foot house should be a million dollars. The reason for this is because when you have a larger amount of square feet, you're spreading the fixed costs of the home, the cost of the lot, the cost of the improvements, you're spreading all those fixed costs over a larger number of square feet, so the dollar per square foot value is gonna go down. So bigger homes are always gonna have a lower dollar per square foot, smaller homes are always gonna have a higher dollar per square foot. Find a home of similar size to match up your dollars per square foot value and that's gonna make more sense. If you're trying to use dollar per square foot to evaluate homes that are you know, double the size of the home that you're looking at, it's just not gonna make sense, it's not gonna be a useful tool.